I'm standing in front of one of the main bakeries in Dar Balah in the central Gaza Strip. Usually you'd see hundreds or thousands of Palestinians queuing here in this street uh, every morning from 4 a.m. until midnight. And the queue would literally reach the next street. Um, people come here or used to come here every day in order to get a bag of bread uh, at very low price, three shekels or around one dollar. Uh, because this bakery is mainly supported by the World Food Program and that's why people come here to get bread which is the only source uh, for Palestinians here in the Gaza Strip, particularly in the humanitarian zone where I'm, from where I'm talking now. Uh, uh, it's the main uh, uh, item of food here. But for the past week now, we do not see these piles and these queues of people coming here uh, because the, uh, the bakery has completely shut down for the past week due to the lack of wheat flour. Uh, with, for the past two months, Israel has been uh, imposing severe restrictions on the entry of food, aid, goods and other uh, kinds or items of important items uh, of uh, essential uh, survival here in Gaza particularly in the humanitarian zone, and that's why we are facing a severe crisis of food, of um, uh, even water, bottled water, is not now available in the markets. Uh, other kinds and other items that are very crucial are not available, and that's why people are literally starving slowly here in the humanitarian zone. This is not northern Gaza, where Israel is imposing severe restrictions and is systematically starving the population to push them out to the south. This is literally the south where Israel is asking residents to come here and now they are uh, being starved here in the Gaza Strip. For the past week, as I said, we haven't eaten bread. We, are, uh, we cannot find bread anywhere because uh, the wheat flour is very scarce and even if it's found in one of the um, the markets it would be very very uh, expensive the canned food that has been available for the past uh, year here in the humanitarian zone is now very scarce and if it's found you would find it outrageously uh, uh, expensive uh, so this is why people uh, in the humanitarian zone here in gaza are facing yet another crisis uh, they are being bombed day and night uh, in Dal Balah we are uh, actually uh, seeing and witnessing places around us being bombed day and night and um, on top of that people are uh, struggling to find food and water every day. Another reason of course why there are no goods or aid coming in into Gaza is that uh, in the media the Israeli authorities may say that they have allowed for example 100 trucks of goods or aid to enter the Gaza Strip on one hand but on the other hand they are uh, coordinating with armed gangs to loot these aid trucks and uh, these goods trucks. Uh, they are allowing them to enter uh, areas that we residents, Palestinians in general, are not allowed to enter. Uh, they allow them to go into these areas in order to loot these trucks. So uh, publicly they say that they allow aid, but in reality on the ground they are actually coordinating with these gangs in order to loot these uh, drugs and prevent them from entering the Gaza Strip.